Nice. Good. This music. Just start. Hello, my dear friends. Well, today is a very special day in Kiev because these are days of Euro 2012. And here we are in the center of Kiev, capital of Ukraine. And when I came here, I brought with me this football ball. Well, why? Because Euro 2012 is famous in Ukraine, in Poland. And actually, people came to Ukraine, to Kiev, Lviv, Lviv city, Donetsk, Kharkiv and Kiev, and they enjoyed football matches. But nevertheless, if you have time to enjoy just city around, I will tell you a little bit stories about Kiev and about history of Ukraine. Here, we are near this great monument. What is it? This monument, the monument of Golden Gate. Golden Gate Monument was built actually 1,500 years ago, pretty old. Of course, it was not like this. It was old in old time. It was probably different, but it was restored okay. because Kiev uh, had anniversary 100, 500 anniversary in in 1982, and this monument was rebuilt. But nevertheless, originally. Uh, some remnants, some ruins, were still in time of 16th, 17th century, and people could see it. For instance, when Ukrainian Getman Bogdan Khmelnytsky came to Kiev after the victory over Polish, he, he came through these gates, and because he was very famous in this time. But later, all this monument was covered by earth. It was under the, under the earth, under the ground. And archaeologists in 19th century found it, so they excavated it and established kind of a museum. So they didn't rebuild it because it was a huge job. But just 30 years ago, in 1982, it was rebuilt. It. And here, please, and here you can see another interesting person. This is a great monument. This is very, very important man in Ukraine because this is Grand Prince Yaroslav the Wise. Grand Prince Yaroslav the Wise, he was a pretty wise person. Had a great brain and he was the son of Grand Prince Vladimir. And who, why Vladimir was very famous and is famous now because he baptized Ukraine, former Rus state. Baptized, he introduced Christianity. And after him, his son was Yaroslav the Wise. The Wise, he was actually, this term was introduced later, 500 years later, by Russian writer Karamzin. But he was a really clever person because he tried to unite Rus. He tried to unite all different small cities in this huge area. Because all princes, all princes, they had a lot of descendants and everyone, everyone prince had a separate city and after when we became adults and knights we started to fight. But this man united the country and what did he do? Actually he, he managed marriages between his daughters and his sons with neighboring princes. That's why Princess Anna came to France one prince, princess came to Norway and one princess came to Hungary. So they married their grand princess. And also his sister of this Yaroslav, Prince Yaroslav, married also the Byzant Byzantine prince. One. And also his sons married a very noble people in Germany. So he tried to unite all his family in Europe. And he's keeping in his hand this interesting monument. Monument. This is actually a monument of. <coughs> this is a model. Model of Saint Ca Sophia Cathedral. We will see it later here. What's and this is a small house in okay. his hand. Uh, uh, okay. Why? What time? What century? Actually, was this was 11th century. So, so approximately 1,500 years ago. He was famous because he started to build this cathedral in memory of his victory of 
victory of his Rus army over tribes of Pechenegs. This was, these were different tribes around this area and they tried to fight with Rus army. So after this victory he built this huge, huge monument over, okay, uh, the height is 30 meters and also he started to build a cathedral. On the top of this great monument, uh, Golden Gate Cathedral, you can see a new Asian church. Church was built in the memory of the victory of Rus army over Pechenex as well. Inside were wonderful mosaics and pictures, and actually archaeologists found it, small remnants of these mosaics nearby. And you come inside to the museum, you can see ruins of this museum inside. Original wow. ruins, awesome. you can touch the bricks of all this ancient wow. okay. Golden Gate inside. And Golden Gate, why? Because all these domes of church covered by gold, so you can see it far away. So this was a great proud of Rus people and great just fear of all these tribes around tried to fight with Russians. And uh, Yaroslav, he was also famous because he tried to manage what? He tried to manage the education in, in the country and also he did, uh, there are some legends actually, some uh, legends and also some chronicles where it was written that there was a, there was a special, very, very, very clever, interesting library of Yaroslav. This ancient library just disappeared. We don't know where is it. Some people always say probably it was hidden somewhere underground this Saint Sophia Cathedral. But we don't know. How do you how do we know about all these people and all about the history of uh, Rus? We know it from chronicles. Chronicles, this is special uh, special manuscripts. Manuscripts which were written over 1,000 years ago, and the great chronicle was uh, Nestor. Chronicle Nestor, he was a monk of uh, Kiev Pichersk uh, Monastery. This monk lived approximately at the same time of uh, Prince Vladimir and Prince Yaroslav, and he did, he did uh, this manuscript in detail. But some people say this is historical chronicle, some people say this is kind of like a novel. So with some imagination, with his emotions, and maybe with also with some changed data, because he couldn't be very precise actually, because he was a monk, he was not just uh, assistant of Grand Prince. He received all this knowledge from other people and, and managed this chronicle. And also he wrote the most interesting and most famous chronicle of which is na named as a tale of bygone years. So bygone, so years, years of 1,000 years ago. And another chronicle is, was very famous and is famous now. This is a tale of Igor, Igor fighting, Igor team. This tale was found much later, in 19th century, in one of monasteries in Russia. And also, all these chronicles, they describe the history of Kievan Rus. If you will travel a little bit around, you will see another great monument, monument of Saint Vladimir. Vladimir with great Christ inside, in his hands. Why? Great Vladimir the Prince, he baptized the Rus, and this is his son, Yaroslav. Well, and and in this time, the most famous empire was the Byzantine Empire. In the same place, uh, now this is just Turkey. And Constantinople, this was a um, city in Istanbul. So Russians were also tried to fight with Byzantine Empire. And even this Golden Gate has a direction in, in the direction of Constantinople because uh, Yara, Prince Yaroslav tried to find with Byzantine once, but he defeated. So nevertheless, he built the Golden Gate to say, our empire, Rus empire, also the same strong and famous like Byzantine empire. So you can imagine how it was very important in this time to be strong 
to, to fight with all neighbors and to establish huge city and huge state, which can be strong enough to fight all other tribes around. <coughs> and I can propose also to go a little bit close to Golden Gate and touch bricks and look a little bit inside. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to go a picture. Maybe take some. some.